when we start working through the soybean fertilization, again, I think this is something that we finally have come to terms with that we need to go after them, fertilize for the crop that we want, not just a 50 bushel crop that we've had for decades, but we're at the yield level of it. Okay, I wanna go after 75 bushel, or I've got fields that can do more, I can do 80. I need to fertilize for that. So that's gonna go through uh, your main nutrients of phosphorus, potassium, sulfur is coming into play with this as well. Uh, we don't have the deposition like we used to. Uh, so now we're getting, you know, within the Midwest, probably less than five pounds of sulfur deposited in a year. A crop that's 75, 80 bushel, we're upwards of 15, 20 pounds of sulfur that's needed in that crop. Now that's the, the biomass, that's the grain itself. And so what can we do to, to manage for that? Over the last few years, we've been seeing some fields that are, are popping that they're responding to sulfur. And so with this, our, our starting point was, let's look at the, the source, let's look at the timing. And so far, what we've been finding out is that it's earlier in the seasons when it's really critical. So typically what I say is, let's go within three weeks of planting, either side of that. Let's get out a dry pr product that's uh, very soluble. Granular AMS, ammonium sulfate, is definitely a, a fertilizer that source that we've been using. It dissolves quite well, it gets into the soil once we have some water to activate and move it down. Soybeans are taking that up. They're taking up for the sulfur that's used for the, the leaves themselves as well as the nodulation. Soybeans use nitrogen. We need more nitrogen than even corn. And so we need to make sure we've got good nodulation. Sulfur, ammonium sulfate is a good source to help us through that. So when we talk about this sulfur application, placement certainly comes to mind. And so I like to be timely, so it's, it's near that planting windows where I like to be, but sometimes weather happens. And so if we're looking at uh, an AMS, ammonium sulfate, or any other sulfur application versus timely planting, I'm picking timely planting every time. That, that's one of the pillars of high yield management. Let's get that, and then we can worry about the ammonium sulfate or sulfur treatment later. As we get into that, as long as we're getting them on that early vegetative period, we're fine. A lot of people ask, well, Sean, what about applying to the soybeans that are growing? They're V2, two trifoids, they're three or four. You know, are, are you concerned with it? Well, we've, we've done those applications and with products that are granular, they've got the prills that are just gonna kind of roll off the leaves and go to the soil. It's not an issue as long as it rolls off. If it's a product that's not a granular, or it's, it's more of a dust and more fine particles that are gonna to stick to the leaves, that's not a good situation. We want a product that's gonna roll off the leaves, get to the soil, and then wait for rain to work it in so the roots can take it up. This year we're starting to look at uh, some early flowering, so R1, R2 on soybean timing. Uh, this is trying to match up, uh, if you look just straight at nodulation and fixation, so that's the amount of nitrogen supplied through that, that symbiotic process. It kind of really gets in a, a linear phase during the vegetative growth, the early reproductive. And by the time we get to seed fill R5, we've topped off. And so it's starting to fade when we're really still putting on more yield. So the idea is, well, we go out R1, R2 with uh, AMS, ammonium sulfate. It gets dissolved, water works it through, and still to help out with this critical seed fill period, this R4, R5, and to kind of help finish out the season. So when we start looking at these different uh, sulfur sources and rates, we started with uh, granular AMS or ammonium sulfate because again, well, we want something that's soluble, gets into the system fairly quick. If we looked at some of the other products that are out there, let's think about uh, like an elemental sulfur, it has to get oxidized, that takes time. And the idea of it, it kind of oxidizing as a quote, slow release is appealing, but yet we've done some of the work with elemental sulfur in a in-season application or at planting or shortly there before and it just doesn't oxidize, doesn't become available fast enough for that, that soybean crop. And so that's why I like to look at products like uh, granular AMS, uh, ammonium sulfate that is soluble and will be taken up by the plant during the growing season.